What's up you guys? Welcome back to 2740 Solutions, home of the best trained, highest paid, and fittest problem solvers on the planet. Today, we are teaching my wife, Megan, how to drive stick, and we're using my $70,000 super exclusive STI S209. It is very dirty. I uh, figured we'd do this before we wash it up. If you guys haven't seen our exhaust video where we put the NVIDIA N1 street exhaust on, I would highly recommend watching that video much needed so what are you guys gonna need to teach your wife or teach your friend or whoever it is how to drive stick well what I have found to be most successful is finding a parking lot that is a slight downhill now the reason I suggest that is because if for you guys who do drive stick or drive manual you'll know that when you are doing downhill starts it's super easy and you want to get the confidence of the person you're teaching up as high as possible from the start so in order to get them confident, I use a parking lot like this that has a slight tilt to it so that when she starts up or he starts up, they get that nice momentum and they can really work on their clutch work rather than worrying about, oh, you know, the car needs to get started and all these other crazy things. Because, you know, everyone's used to using their right foot for the brake and for the gas, but these people who haven't driven a manual or a stick before, they're not used to using that nice, slow left foot off the clutch. So. With that being said, we are going to go check out the driving position that your, uh, you know, your student, your trainee should be in. Meg's in the car right now. She's all set up, so we'll go over that now. All right, so we are going to go over the seating position for the person that you are teaching to drive stick. So we have Meg, my wife here. She is already adjusted in a nice athletic driving stance so that she can have the best chance of, uh, you know, starting up in first gear on her first shot. So. She's in nice, comfortable clothing. She's got uh, comfortable, like athletic, relatively flat bottom shoes on so she can actually feel those pedals. We got all three pedals right there. We got our dead pedal here, and we got our clutch, brake, and then gas is over there. Meg is nice and close in a nice athletic seating position so that she can actually manipulate those pedals. She wants to you know, be in a position where her leg isn't quite all the way extended. It's kind of like riding a bike. She wants her leg almost extended, and then when she lets the clutch up, then her knee is in a bent, nice athletic position. As far as the rest of her goes, you know, the steering wheel kind of preference to her. And then she's in a nice area where she can actually manipulate the shifter, you know, a nice bend in her arm there, similar to the bend in her leg that she wants there. Other than that, I would highly recommend, you wanna start up the car, Meg, so clutch in, start it on up. Alrighty. So I would highly recommend you guys not have any clutter or anything around the driver the new driver because the more things that are cluttering your area so like we don't have any we don't have any drinks any anything in here and if you do have a drink you want something that has a top to it you don't have anything up here it's not a yard sale you're not having a, a buy one get one free i'm actually not even going to be in the front seat for this driving portion so just having it nice and simple no music on you want them to be able to hear the engine so if you want to give it a rev real quick meg yep no just rev it up rev it more there we go got the exhaust for a reason meg so if you had music on she wouldn't be able to hear the engine and the transmission engaging and all that stuff so with that being said i'm gonna get out of the way you get the camera set up and meg's gonna put on a clinic for how to drive stick for your first time Alrighty, so we are on our slight downhill slope in the parking lot right now. The car is in neutral. Meg, can you show them it's in neutral, please? So shake the shifter. All right, the parking brake is on right now. Meg's feet are off of all the pedals. The first thing she's going to do is put her foot on the brake. Her right foot is on the brake now. Now her left foot will go on the clutch all the way down. Then she will go ahead and put the or take off the parking brake. And now she will put the car in first gear. Our first start is gonna be with no gas, and that's why you do it on the downhill so that the momentum will carry the car and all she has to work on is how slowly she lets off, lets off the clutch. So now when she's ready, she's just going to slowly take her foot off the brake. The car will start moving forward. She can straighten out, straighten the car out. And then she's gonna slowly let her left foot off the clutch and momentum will help her engage the engine and the transmission. All right, so she could feel right 
right there, the, the clutch engaged, so the flywheel engaged with the engine, or with the transmission, and now she is in first gear. She's gonna cruise around and reset. But the reason we start with this is so that she gets confident with that left foot movement. So we've all, you know, everyone's used to using their right foot for the brake and for the gas, but most people are not familiar with using their left foot to manipulate that third pedal, which is the clutch pedal. So she's gonna start up at the top of the hill again, and just go ahead and not use the gas at all and get the car started using momentum and working on her clutch engagement. So when she's gonna to come to a stop, she's gonna make sure the clutch is all the way in, put it back in neutral, just cause we like to start all reset. And whenever you're ready, Meg, we can just do it again. All right, so she's letting her foot off the brake. She's letting her foot off the clutch very slowly just to work on that nice smooth clutch movement. Sounds to me, it feels to me like we're in gear. She's gonna cruise around again. All right, so once you are confident, um, starting on the downhill without using any gas, just working on that clutch pedal with your left foot, then you can start uh, still on the slight downhill so that you get a little bit of that extra forgiveness. Start using the gas. So here in this Subaru STI S209, I like to tell Meg to start at the two uh, or the 2000 mark on the tachometer, which is the left gauge. And so she's gonna demonstrate holding that for us. So she's, you know, she's out of gear right now. So just hold it at two for us, Meg, with the revs. So holding it at 2,000 gives us enough, enough cushion when we're starting to, uh, you know, have that engine, uh, have that transmission slow the engine down a little bit. So, alrighty, Meg, if you're ready to show them, uh, starting on the downhill with uh, with some uh, revs, we will go ahead and take the parking brake off and put it in first gear. All right, so the clutch is in. She's going to put it in first gear now. Now we're going to do a start downhill with revs. Alrighty, so if you guys notice, she was pretty quick with that, and that's uh, a big reason with that. Is a big reason for that is because she's gotten really used to using that third that left foot on that third pedal the clutch pedal So her clutch engagement is very smooth for someone who's just beginning to drive stick so that clutch pedal movement is Way more important than learning about the gas pedal for most people first driving stick So she's gonna do one more start for you guys uh, Meg is confident enough to do a start on the flat ground. So she's just gonna sit, uh, sit up here we're on flat ground now, and she's gonna do the same thing again. So let's reset back in neutral, put the parking brake back on just because she's not used to using that parking brake all the time. So it's good to reset every time. All right, so now she is going to go ahead, take the parking brake off, and go into first gear. Her foot is still on the brake right now. She's gonna take her foot off the brake. Now she's gonna start giving the engine some revs up to that, that two mark on the tachometer, representing 2,000 rotations per minute for the engine, and she's just slowly letting her left foot off the clutch. However long it takes, it doesn't matter. It's just all about being smooth right now. So nice and smooth, she keeps the, the revs up, and now she's going. And a nice smooth start on flat ground. You guys noticed the car was not moving forward until the engine was engaging. So that shows you that the ground was flat and that she did it 100% herself. And it's good for uh, for people who are first driving stick to get to drive around the parking lot while they're in first gear so they start learning to kind of focus on, on everything since it's kind of like a, a brand new driving experience. So we're getting pretty familiar with this parking lot here. <laughs> All right, Meg, are you ready to do a first to second? Mm -hmm. All right, so Meg's gonna do another flat start and then she's going to go 
from first gear into second gear. Oh, she's just gonna go and right away, all right. All right. So that was a nice, strong, nice, strong first to se second shift uh, as far as the shifter goes. And then she did uh, give the revs a little bit too much, but that's okay. Just, we didn't hit, up, hit the rev limit or anything, so that's all right. So she's currently in second gear. We're gonna do a downshift to first while we're coming downhill. So Meg, if you wanna put the clutch in and put it back in first gear while you're still rolling. Clutch in, down into first gear, and now let your foot off the clutch. There you go. So you'll know you catch back into first gear because the car will kind of slow itself down, but it's important to get that first to second and then second back to first so that they're used to uh, actually going through gears before you get on some sort of more realistic road. Alrighty, so Meg is really enjoying going from first to second. First gear is annoying, but she likes going from first to second. So she's gonna speed up to about 3000 RPM. Speed up, all right, and now she's gonna go clutch in, shift to second gear, and then clutch out. Now, it is a little clunky at first, but that's just because, uh, you know, slow is smooth and smooth is fast. So we're just going to not focus on necessarily how smooth it is right now, but just on how, you know, how, uh, how she's actually executing that. So she's just going clutch in, shift it from first to second, and then clutch out, and then boom, she's cruising. And the smoothness will come as she gets a little bit quicker uh, going uh, through the, all the motions. Alrighty, well, I have convinced Meg that she can at least get us partially home since we did first to second. So we are gonna try pulling out onto the main road. That's gonna be a good time. That's why we have insurance. But uh, thanks for tuning in. We will do another video on kind of the step two, the next step for teaching your wife, friend, significant other, uh, random person you find on the streets uh, here in 2020, how to drive stick. Appreciate you guys tuning in. Remember we're doing our 1000 subscriber giveaway. So you automatically get entered if you are a subscriber to uh, win a Amazon Prime to you set of Powerbeats Pro. Stay safe out there and we'll see you for the next episode.